Half the Truth, Radar, Crime Star, Barry Tynan, Jen Organ, Abacus, Fran he Harty, Hot Pink Halo, and Bluster Boy. And if you enjoyed it tonight, remember it happens next Friday, and then on the 26th of next month, it happens here. The open mic is back here again. So we need your support. And like all the people who make it possible here, Doc and Paul and Erica and Lucy and Leone and Adam and the Adam who isn't here because he has COVID. <laughs> so that's why you have to put up with me. And um, I guess at this stage we're, we're going to give Kira, our judge, a little bit of time to think if she needs it. Um, um, just to introduce Kira, she's a singer, a songwriter, a composer and a DJ, a presenter at Ross FM. She's been songwriting since she was 16. She trained at the Tullamore Academy of Music in classical and opera singing, later studying rock, pop, musical theatre and jazz. She's had many songwriting collaborations, including DJ David Goethe, hit singer Chris Willis, Maya Maria, the songwriter of Britney Spears, Ariana Grande and Selena Gomez. She worked closely with the Aftertouch music label based in Nashville, in which she performed at the NAMM music show in LA and many other national and international venues. Kira will be releasing her debut album, Paint My Soul, on April the 26th, 2024. So she can come along and launch it at the open mic. <laughs> you can follow Kira at Kira Lawless HQ on socials. And she's she's going to bring the three winners to her radio show if they want to go to play in the studio so here do you need some time yeah okay okay i'll hand you over to kira now can i just say first off everyone can hear can i just say first off oh my god like you made my decision super hard it was not easy so just give yourself a big round of applause, because it was amazing. It's not an easy thing to get up in front of a crowd that maybe it could be your first time or maybe several times and bury your soul on the stage with your original lyrics, your melodies, and expressing your thoughts, which is another thing that's super scary for a lot of people. And I think it's super amazing that you're able to get up here and share with us life your life as an artist, what your thought process is, your expression, your identity, and of course your talent and your skills on the stage. So first off, just give yourself another round of applause. <laughs> Super cool. Amazing. So as I said, I had a really tough decision. And when I was listening and judging, what I was looking for was the delivery, obviously is, is an important thing. But set aside from the vocals, the delivery, and the instruments, I wanted to see what the rhythm was like, what the lyrics were like. Are they rhythmically synced with the melody? How does the song flow? And then when it comes to the performance of it, is there stops, is there gaps, is there registers? Are you using falsetto? Are you using head voice? Are you using chest voice? Just the differences between all of them. They make a brilliant song. And again, there was a band here tonight, there were several bands here tonight that really stood out in terms of their dynamic and their awareness of when to let instruments breathe, when to let the singer's vocals breathe. And yeah, that really was brilliant tonight, listening into that, the awareness of the stops, the gaps. They all make a fantastic song. Um, so here are my <laughs> choices. Again, it was not an easy decision. I could have spent another hour, and again, everybody's a winner here tonight, but I'm gonna go first with the wild card. Okay, so our wild card. Um, so this performer, uh, again, stood out to me because I think it's really important when you get up on the stage to introduce your song and introduce yourself again, even if your MC has introduced your name, your song, to just to paint a little bit of a picture of the background about the subject of what your song is about. And this song stood out to me because afterwards it was stuck in my head, um, certain melodies and certain lyrics. So our wild card is Hot Pink Halo. Really quirky. <laughs> 
And again, as I say for, for everybody, I think, you know, it's this evening I was really kind of zoning in on the craft of the song and what I really stood out to me was gold and shapeshifter because I really loved the interesting subject behind shapeshifter. That kind of the concept really stood out to me in a song, something different and unique. And I really liked the, the chorus on gold as well. That kind of stuck in my head. So that's my choice for my wild card. <laughs> You're an awesome crowd, by the way. I love your reactions, and you were great to sing along and to support people. Brilliant. Okay, so our third uh, winner tonight is Radar. <laughs> and again with Radar, again, like the stops, the gaps, the letting the instruments breed. But what I really loved as well, there was a brilliant, fantastic kind of cohesion between the band members when they were performing on stage. You could, you could just really kind of, you could see the relaxation of you all and the inner kind of confidence. You were together and you were linked and there was no, are we doing this? Like it was so tight, so I really loved that. Um, again, great, great lyrics, um, great rhythm, great melody. So keep going, absolutely blew me away. Well done guys. Yeah. Now, again, I think as well, you know, songs can be amazing when we have four or five instruments backing them, but it's also equally incredible when you have maybe just a singer and a guitar and the power of using your voice and the guitar as that beautiful instrument and that accompaniment. And a singer that really stood out to me tonight, um, beautiful vocals, um, beautiful melody, and again, you know, knowing when to kind of just have that pause before you hit the chorus. Just it was a lovely kind of chill, relaxed atmosphere when she was performing. And just really loved the confidence, again, in the melody and the delivery of the performance. So Jen Oregon is our second winner. <laughs> well done, Jen. Okay, so this is a tough one. Um, again, everybody is winners tonight. Well done, you put on a stellar performance. But our final winner, and again, like, I wrote down literally vocals, wow. <laughs> I see a big, big future um, ahead for these guys. And again, the cohesion of the band, like, it was so tight. I feel like if you close your eyes, you could perform it. Um, the vocals also as well, the kind of the confidence in the singer and the confidence in the um, accompaniment as well of the other band members, you know, really kind of being supportive and again, knowing as well when to let the, um, the song breathe in certain parts, knowing when to stop at certain instruments and those little gaps, especially what I loved as well was the breakdown of the bridge hitting into the chorus on the second song. So <laughs> without further ado, our number one winners tonight are Abacus. Can we go louder? Can we give some more cheers? Can we cheer? Can we stand up? Can we stand up for everybody? Can we stand up for everybody here tonight and give a big clap? Woo! And finally, I just want to say, I would absolutely love if these three, I suppose these four, would come into studio with me and perform their songs live, either acoustically or if they want to perform with their track, uh, maybe on guitar, or else I'm willing to play their songs on air when they're recorded in the studio. So well done, guys. Thank you so much for having me as your judge. And I just want to say as well, can we give a massive round of applause to the sound guys? Because it's, it's again, like you guys have the pressure there to kind of, you know, to keep everything going. So well done to ye. Well done as well. I did notice there was performers stepping in at different parts and accompanying people. That's a super cool thing to do. Very kind. Well done to you guys. And thank you so much as well to Jack for asking me here tonight. Thanks, guys. Yeah.